Hi everyone, my name is Antonio Goncalves. Welcome to my course Java EE Getting Started. I am an independent developer, a book author and a recognized Java champion living in beautiful Paris. But I also travel the world speaking at various conferences. So, you want to get started with Java EE? Sounds like the right course. In this course, you will build a Java EE backend and then add an Angular frontend to it. And when I say build, I mean that you will spend most of your time in front of your IDE typing code. Some of the major topics that I will cover include setting up your development environment, which IDE to choose, which building tools or database to install, which server to run your code, or which testing frameworks to use. Then, you will build a Java EE backend. This means that you will map domain objects to a database and access them in a transactional manner, validate data and use dependency injection. Once all this in place, you will expose the business model through a documented REST API. Along the way, you will focus on testing all these components to make sure they answer the business requirements and are reliable. Finally, you will create an Angular front-end to interact through HTTP and JSON with the Java EE backend. By the end of this course, you will know the basis to get started building REST APIs with Java EE and consuming them with Angular. The reward is that you'll know how to develop an entire web application where you'll be able to visualize, create and delete books from an online bookstore. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar with the Java programming language, how the web and the HTTP protocol work, and a bit of HTML and CSS wouldn't hurt. Java EE, Angular, REST, sounds like a lot to learn, but don't be scared. This course will guide you step by step through all these topics. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn Java EE with the Java EE Getting Started course at Plural Site.